Valerie Casimir, and I am so excited to share with you a wonderful piano teaching tool that will engage and uh, invigorate all your students. Without further ado, I would like to just share just a little bit of maybe some problems you may have, such as your students are a little bored at, at taking piano lessons and they find that when they get home to try to practice, they forget everything that you've taught them. And they don't know how to count, they don't know how to engage the, their curriculum. So with what I have to share, I have a solution for all of that. The, to be able to engage your students, to be able to allow them to feel like they're in that, the new age, the 21st century gaming. Uh, so the program that I have that is internet based and it is a phenomenal tool that is used in your studio. Not only this, your studio, it is also a program that goes actually directly to the virtual setting of the child's computer at home. So it's just like you are sitting in their uh, living room or in their music room teaching them. All right, so without further ado, I would like to go ahead and take you to my dashboard. So here we have the Piano Marvel program, and it is very marvelous. I really like it. Um, we have uh, on the dashboard, we have the method. Now, the method is exactly what it is. It's, it's your method books. And I always say this is your method books on steroids. So I'm going to actually click in. But well, let's, before I click in, let's go ahead and let's just diagram all the features here on the dashboard. So we have method and we have technique. And the technique um, is all your pra uh, practice rhythm, your scales, your uh, chords, uh, your cadence, your ear training, and there's much more involved in this the techniques. So it's just like your technique books, um, your method books, your technique books. Then we have a library. This program, Piano Marble, has thousands, I'm not saying hundreds, thousands of songs in various genres. We're talking classical, we're talking pop, we're talking about um, um, all of your genres that you like, jazz. So we have those features. We even have duets in the uh, actual library. So there's so much uh, to uh, learn in this library area. It actually gives us a level from one to the lowest teaching um, level to the highest of 18. So we're talking about some really serious um, uh, learning here. So then we have, which is a wonderful feature, and I, I will probably go ahead and show you this in, its, in another video, which is called the sight reading. And it's also called, and for short, it's called Sasser. So Sasser means standard achievement sight reading. Um, so we're, we're wanting to see, engage how proficient, what level is your student? A lot of times you say, ah, oh, you're, you're in book two, but what does that really mean? We can show you through a battery of test, the student will play and as they play and achieve and continue to um, allow their uh, reading uh, proficiency to go up, it actually gauges, it actually shows a rubrics of where your child is. If, and we'll talk a little more about that. So let's go on, let's, let's go in a little bit deeper. Let's go to the method. Now, in our method, I love this because it is instant feedback. We have the trophy case. This trophy case starts in all gray. So if you notice, I have been very, very good at being a good student in uh, finishing all my um, books here. So my method, or at least up to level 4D, uh, in the method, if you look here, it starts on 1A. So 1A is 
a book and this book 1a and let me go ahead and click 1a so in this book is method 1a and throughout that book you have 20 lessons so right there you have a book that is 20 pages long and already you are into the the the, the method of this whole program. Then it goes into book one, uh, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E. So you have 20 pages within five books. So already you have 100 uh, lessons right here just in level one. I love it because the student, they don't have to purchase the book. Now, what is really neat, this program has the book within the PDF. So right here, if I go back to, well, let's just stay right here in 1E. So lesson video, where it says, I'm sorry, lesson method book, all you have to do is click on the PDF and this is the entire book, level one, one or A through E. Okay, so in, if you notice, I'm gonna scroll all the way through and there's your content just love it so it's just it explains all the things that you're going to learn within level one so and then if you look here's the introductory to the grand staff so actually you can use the book online the child doesn't have to purchase however we do have them in hard copies all right let's go back to our method trophy case now what I love about this, this Piano Marvel, if you look at Piano Method 1A, let's just go there. I'm going to click a song, okay? And because this is internet-based and it is uh, pretty much like gaming-based, you're going to get a, a, a instant feedback, an instant uh, rewarding system that actually... Uh, goes along with playing the program. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me go to, let me go to 2B. I, I, I kind of like some of the songs in there. Ah, okay. Let's do, she'll be coming around the mountain. I think everyone knows that one. I'm going to click on that particular song within the 2B book. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I'm going to just yeah, we'll do that. Okay. Now, if you notice, you see the score, you see the music here. And if you want, if the child wants to see a video, they may click right here, someone playing that song first. So they'll know exactly how it goes, how it sounds. And, you know, not so much copying the fingers because we don't want anyone copying fingers because you just want to use it as a demo promo just to hear. All right. So, I am going to view and look at this song and, and what it does, if you notice, I've already played it, but you can play these songs over and over and over again. My highest score will record, which was 100. But guess what? Once I start by playing this again, this will go to zero and it will start recording me. Okay. And now it'll give me my current score. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and press my play. You can do either press, press the space bar or you can press this little button here to get ready to play. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm, I'm actually on my piano. Uh, this is all connected together. It reads from the piano. There's a cable that goes to the, from the piano to the computer that records this, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and press my space bar. And the man counts out for us. One, two. Three, four, set, go. Now, I'm going to purposely make a mistake so you can see the reward system here. And there's several speeds. This is the slowest, so the student can process the reading. I'm going to make a mistake. Now ask the 
the student. I want to make a mistake. I want to finish this off completely the correct way. Okay. Now, look right now at the reward here. I get scored right away at a 91. Now, this is wonderful because what it does, it gives the student a visual. Okay, what did I do? What did I do wrong? What did I do right? So you want to make sure that your student gets that instant feedback with you. But however, the beautiful thing, they're going to get that instant feedback right at home. And it's like, I am there to give them that virtual setting here of, oh, you made this mistake, you made this mistake, or you did this correct. So you wanna make sure that that student gets that instant feedback. So let's go ahead and look at the screen. We can do a little uh, review of what, what you see here. You can say, okay, so right here, you played an, uh, a G instead of an E right there. So. Also, you can just kind of scroll up and see all the mistakes. Oh, you played a D sharp instead. Okay, so you want to make sure they understand that they played the correct notes. So now watch this. If a student is at home by themselves and they're saying, well, I don't know what this note is. So guess what? There's a little finger. If you look at that little finger right there, if you click on it, it brings up a full 88 key keyboard and it gives them the identification of where that particular note is on the keyboard. So this is wonderful because again, a lot of times the students say, well, I don't know that note. I don't, I couldn't play it because I didn't know the, the notes. No excuse. I love this program because it does allow them to gauge and correct their own selves and you just click right out of it all right so i'm going to go back i'm going to do and give 100 now if you notice it gave me a, a silver anything that's 97 or above you get a gold i'm sorry 97 or to 99 you get a gold piano if you get 100 you get a gold piano with a star on it so that's what I always tell my students, go for the 100, go for the 100s. So here I got 91. So that's a silver. Anything below 96 to 90, I believe it's 91, you get silver. Um, then below the 90 is a bronze. So you're going to see and then below that. You'll probably, I don't know what color because I try not to get it below. All right, so let's go ahead and try this again. I'm going to go for 100, okay? And guess what? Within this program, because that was so slow, if you look down here, there's a controller and there's it says play control. So I'm going to open that up. Within this program, I love it. You can change the tempo. So the default tempo is at 60. With this, I can change the default up to where I can make it a little bit faster. I'm going to go on to, let me go on to one. Let's go to 95. I'm going to do that. And you can easily reset that uh, default back to the number that it was first read. Okay. Anything from that default below, you will not, you will get scored, but you will not get a, uh, played score you will it will not show within the reading anything at the default and above you will get the reading on on your last score okay so i've pushed it up a little higher so it can be a little bit faster so here we go i'm going to go to my piano again i'm going to click the space button and, and what's really neat the gentleman allows you some time to get ready okay counting in one two three
did 100. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I thought I felt myself play the wrong note. I got a 99. So I, I am an overachiever. So guess what? I'm going to go back in. Oh, there it was. I missed that. Okay. So if if you notice, and I'm, I'm not going to spend time on re, redoing that, but I always like to have my students go ahead and create another way of, of making your 100 score. And when you do that, what happens? You're putting repetition before the student. And that's wonderful because that's how we learn, okay? Um, so I'm gonna stop it here and I will show you technique in just a few moments.